there, is there anything wrong with your marriage, Charles? No, there's totally nothing wrong with my marriage. If there is totally nothing wrong with your marriage, then why are you going around and sleeping around with people that you're calling whores? Uh, sir, are you okay up there? Hi guys, it's Tori. Welcome back. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Thank you so much for clicking to watch this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Okay, so in today's video, I'm pretty much going to be reacting to The Divorce Club. For those of you who don't know, The Divorce Club is pretty much a reality show, a Zambian reality show if we're being specific. It's very unbelievable that it's actually a reality show because the first episode looked extremely scripted, but overall, I feel like it's a very, very good show. Personally, I like it. And if it's genuinely, genuinely reality, then clearly they're taking the whole Zambian uh, reality show industry or film industry or movie industry or whatever I choose to call it to a whole nother level. So, yeah. So there could be an African auntie out there saying this girl is too young to be reacting to a relationship video or things that have to do with relationships and marriages what the hell does she know about relationships and marriages but what i want to tell this african auntie is that i think i am grown enough to be able to distinguish between a healthy relationship and a toxic one hence the reason why i'm able to react to this video and so yeah without further ado let's get right into this video Stop talking. Don't, don't stop. Hey, what is better now, Maka? Everybody calm down. <laughs> James, please, uh, Charles. Charles, please calm down. <laughs> you say the love. You say the love for sure. Guys, time. Don't start with those crocodiles again. How do you again. even know each other, you guys? <laughs> How? Ask her. How? She's the one that made them contact me, so you should ask her. How? Eunice. And she better speak because she's I got, wasting time. I got her line from your phone. Uh -huh, from your phone. I see. But my message is so not now, to me, Shania. So now you even started going through my, my personal my personal things? You pushed you him. You stopped to touching me. Far. You he pushed didn't me. Push you, 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 you pushed me, no, Bas James. Didn't. Because oh. of your behavior. Oh, you made me go through but your phone. But you can phone. tell that you need to go through your phone. I see. To find the now you've got the guts to go through my phone, right? asking you you have the guts to go through my phone okay so i'm literally confused okay in last week's episode this lady said this lady you need to be specific said they've been married for nine years yeah and so this man comes in violently and starts asking her you even have the guts to go through my phone excuse you where's the privacy in marriage exactly for any married person out there i need you to comment down below and tell me if there needs to be privacy in marriage. See, it's the same thing that I don't understand. And it's the toxicity that we come in with. I feel like even as young people in relationships, we're always like, there needs to be like privacy. I know for a relationship, maybe as young people, we could have some sort of privacy towards each other. But these guys sleep in the same room, have lived probably in the same house for nine years, have kids, seen each other naked if we're being specific, done the nasty so excuse you, Mr. Charles, what do you mean by now you even have the guts to go through my phone? Your own wife, who you have kids with, should not be able to go through your phone. I'm sorry, but this man is toxic. Ladies, 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 she was just bringing about a lot of confusion. She should have just shut her mouth and mind her own business because this had nothing to do with her. She's not part of a relationship. And this is literally, you're destroying somebody's marriage and you know it. And you even have the audacity to bring your friend to support the foolishness that you're doing. This girl, the side she claims she's like 20 years old. Are you really 20 though? Because she looks really old. But anyway... Come here and do it. Security, why are you like this? Eh? You think that Charles is so far to the He will, he will. I want to see my wife, where is she? Just calm down. Um, we're gonna we're gonna bring the wife. So Eunice called us here because she said there was problems with your marriage. Is there is there anything wrong with your marriage, Charles? No, there's totally nothing wrong with my marriage. Because Eunice, Eunice seems to think that there is a problem with your marriage. There is totally nothing wrong. I'm telling you now. Is she here? Where is she? She's waiting in the studio. So, Charles? Yes. 
if there is totally nothing wrong with your marriage, then why are you going around and sleeping around with people that you're calling whores? Not in my words, so don't attack me. This man is the one who equally admitted that that lady or that girl who claims to be 20 is a whore. So you're saying there is nothing wrong in your marriage. Then why are you going around sleeping with children? As a woman says, the married woman, the owner of the man says, you're going around sleeping with children literally children who could literally be your own children and this man is saying there is nothing wrong with our relationship uh sir are you okay up there are you okay up there because if there is nothing wrong i think you'd stick to your wife and you'd stop making all these contradictions all these contradictory statements so i'm so confused nothing wrong with your marriage who is busy and how is she involved in your marriage Liz is just just someone that I know. She's my my girlfriend. So you have a wife and a girlfriend. Yes. So you have a wife and a girlfriend, and he goes, yes, because that's normal. Okay. That's normal to you. Yeah, that's that's okay, my guy. That's okay. Is your wife okay with you having a wife and a girlfriend? Does your wife know? You know, if you like random chew but which end which end you want me to want and you know, if I have a girl. A man's disloyalty can't break a home is something that I've heard so many times in African homes. Not my home though. I'm just putting it out there. Not in my house. Here we don't tolerate that. But I've heard that several times and I've seen people stick even just in like relationships, people my age, grown ups and every person in between my age and people that I categorize as grown up. Like they say man's disloyalty doesn't break a home and i just want to say i feel like as african parents out there especially mothers and aunties and grandmothers stop inculcating this stupid um phrase in young people's minds that a man should be disloyal to a woman or that a boyfriend can be disloyal to a girlfriend because honestly that's like such a level of stupidity and that's the one selfish part about this man because if trust me and trust i know for a fact and I feel like a lot of people out there can agree with me. If this woman, Eunice, was the one to cheat on this man and he found out, this issue would be all over social media. The woman's name would be totally ruined. Everybody would know about it. Everybody would criticize her. And the man would instantly ask for a divorce. But you constantly hear this woman talking about how she would still forgive the man even though he's cheated on her. And also publicly embarrassing her on camera which is like what's going on here and i feel like people should stop having this mentality that boyfriends can cheat husbands can cheat fiancés can cheat and we could still stick together if people cheat on you honestly just leave that's like my best advice just leave i'd understand they're in a marriage right now but like maybe i'm not in the best position and maybe it's from a biased perspective but honestly cheating is such a big process it's not even justifiable if I'm being very, very honest. For me, I don't see any sort of justification for a person cheating, but let's watch. I wasn't young when I was handling your man. Whoa, was whoa, I... whoa, whoa. Can you shut up? Babe, Are seriously, you? don't even start with me now. Please, okay? please don't touch me. Are you going to disrespect my wife in front of cameras? This Are you being serious? She's the one that's coming hey, at can me. Can you leave me? She... Are you being serious? She's the Okay, so this man is talking about, are you going to disrespect my wife in front of cameras? In my head, I'm like, wait, you've already embarrassed your wife because look at you. You came on this show already trying to hit your wife for going through your phone and for even being on this show in the first place. And you're asking your side chick saying, I'm not going to let you disrespect my wife in front of cameras. Wait, so she's allowed to disrespect your wife outside cameras or when cameras are not around, but she's not allowed to disrespect her publicly. It doesn't fully make sense to me. I'm like, this man is this man is weird, okay? This man is weird. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Let's let's just review this. So this man wanted to hit his wife for finding out that he has a side chick and for going on the show to confront the side chick. Are we are we on the same page here? This man is hella toxic. This man is hella weird and guys come on are you being serious she's the one that's coming at me are you not listening to what she's not even has charles lost has he lost his mind i mean like 
Guys, men will seriously embarrass you. Like, please, Charles. I feel like it's weird that this side she thought that this man needed to be on her side. Like, this man is calling you a prostitute and you still think that he deserves to have your back. And she keeps on saying, babe, babe. I'm like, uh, uh, madame, uh, I think you should uh, leave. You pity who? Pity You're the miserable so one. Eunice needs to seriously stop worrying about me. I mean, she she has more things to worry about. Look at her hair, her her appearance. That is why she can't. <laughs> boo boo, please. I mean, worry about. I feel like the whole having to attack. Oh, look at her hair. Look at her clothes. I feel like that's very irrelevant. Jay Z cheated on Beyonce, and honestly, Jay Z can cheat on that then I think at this point, what I love what we're going to say, appearance plays no role in a person cheating. If you're going to cheat, then you're just going to cheat. Clearly, your mentality is already set up on cheating. So don't blame that on appearance. Come on. So, Susie, what in your hood? Today? Me? Oh. I'm, a, I'm a whore? Yes, you're a whore. <laughs> okay, okay. Ciao. You hear listen, that? Listen. You hear that? What? I know you you're hear upset. that? I know just of getting married men. You, you want your wife to feel like... Your friend is, has just what? called a whore. Eunice. And who are you? Eunice. Who are you? <laughs> who are you? If she's a whore, who are you? We're Charles. 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 What? So listen. What? No, I know you're upset. Okay. What? But that doesn't mean you should disrespect me in front of all these cameras. Not after everything I've done for you. Seriously. I'm not going to take this. You should be dealing with her are, and not are you, me. Are you being serious? Yes, I am being serious. What have you done you for me? What have you done for me? But I'm so much. I have been with you. I don't have been with you. I don't have been you have to do why, child? Really? If I'm playing well, I'm actually, joking. you know, if I'm gonna do one, please, 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 someone should have just asked her to take off her other heel because honestly i was just uncomfortable <laughs> seeing her with like one inch heel and the other shoe without a heel i'm like yo she this is painful what happened there's nothing that will ever change <laughs> You know, the weird thing is, it's really, really difficult because honestly, in my head, I was like, when the first one came out, I was like, this is definitely acting because no one wants to go out there and put themselves up like that and embarrass themselves like that. I mean, there is family members out here on YouTube and on Facebook. There is church members. There are all these people that would possibly run into this video and the likeliness of these type of videos circulating on social media are like extremely high. So in my head, I'm like, it's scripted it's scripted but looking at the pain that this woman is just expressing in the video honestly if this is acting i would be hella disappointed because she talks with like so much pain it's literally sad and i even feel bad that honestly these girls couldn't even see like a mother's pain in this woman's um voice and also just in her actions you could tell that she's talking out of anger out of pain out of disappointment and it's just it's really really heartbreaking like i literally can't i don't even know how honestly they were able to like stand up and talk to this woman like that or even try to to attack her and find fault in her and find all these issues because in the first episode she's like i see why charles wouldn't even want to be with this lady she's literally so nagging and i'm like she is but anyway look at yourself when last did you even do your hair look at you look at yourself yeah, really look at her Huh? Now, look at yourself. Is giving her a reason why she sleeps with this young girl. But then, if you think about it, he was asked earlier if there are any issues in his marriage, and he brings about how the woman doesn't bath, how she doesn't dress properly, and all these other things. And I'm like, then that's the problem in your marriage. Don't say there is no problem. And this woman, this lady, literally said, his wife literally said. Tell me, you should have told me if there is anything I could have done differently, if there was anything I could have changed. 
honestly i feel like if they had talked about it and if he just expressed how he feels about how the woman looks to her and like out here bringing it out on public for the rest of us to see and laugh and even make comments about such a serious issue is just very detrimental because if you told her that i need you to bath i need you to do this i need you to look this type of way i feel like honestly this lady would have listened because she literally looks like she respects her husband she's one of those Oh my god. Ah. Look at you. Look at yourself. Look at yourself. When last did you even do your hair? Look at you. Look at yourself. Yeah, really look at her. When last huh? did you do your hair? With which money? When last did you ever buy underwear? With which money? I'm supposed to do my hair with each one. Uh, but if my hair are going huh? to accuse me that I have yeah. a boyfriend. Hey, Tasha. Ah. Look. Look at you. Bash James, Mwam, Papusha. In front of these prostitutes, your whore, you are even freely saying that Ine, Shpange Mishishi, Shakusaruni, Shiluke Mishishi, I can't even buy underwears. With what money, honestly, Charles? With what money? When Liz has bewitched you, Nalem Fafio Koba Tabaka, Abana Kashbala Disha. Which are going to constantly hear for any mistake that a man does you see that's the reason why i'm like so i'm literally away from african teachings because i've heard this so many times and honestly in my head it doesn't make sense don't pin this on witchcraft everything is witchcraft in african homes yeah, just your husband is loving, you have a good caring husband, they treat you nicely. His relatives will say, uh-uh, he's been bewitched. You have a toxic husband, you say, no, another woman bewitched him and that's the reason why he's cheating. Excuse me, cheating is just cheating. Don't pin it on witchcraft because honestly, if it was witchcraft, I believe this man would be siding with this side chick of his. But clearly he's not, he's... He's just one of those men who wants to cheat. So, madam, don't don't pin it on witchcraft. And this is why, like, we all get it wrong. No, let me not even say we. This is why you African women, because as we're observing your marriages, even though we're young people, I feel like this is where you get it wrong. Because you want to pin every single thing on witchcraft. How about you pin it on your man and outwardly admit that he's just a cheat. Don't constantly pin it on the lady saying, I do get it though. Like, the lady was wrong, but that whole, no, guys. Okay, guys, so clearly there are a lot of takes from this video. The fact that the lady thinks it's it's too much i can't wait for like the next phase because i'm like hala hala curious but also i feel like there is a lot of takes from it i feel like i don't know if i should give like a lesson or what i have learned because i feel like i already said it throughout the entire comments you need to understand that cheating is just not as basic as cheating it comes in with so many ramifications imagine looking at yourself and starting to compare yourself to somebody starting to say maybe if i looked like her he wouldn't have left maybe if this he wouldn't have left and honestly there is a lot to cheating i don't even know what to say about this video but honestly this man is just really toxic i would want this lady to leave this toxic relationship but also you have to understand that it's a marriage so maybe they'll work on it maybe they won't i'm literally in no position to even say anything like give actual advice because uh i've never been married before so yeah that's pretty much it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed make sure you like subscribe and leave a comment down below and make sure we get to 1k thank you so much for watching and have an awesome week